This is what we call the penultimate part of the show. How many people know this guy? This is his official IMDB headshot. Jimmy Doom. He is an actor. Well, okay, first he's a punk legend, and he's a poet legend, and now he's an acting legend. How many people here saw Kill the Irishman? It was shot here in Detroit, but it's supposed to be Cleveland. Jimmy was the biker across the street from the Irishman's place. They're playing the music too loud. Jimmy, the guy goes over to tell him to turn it down. Jimmy's the guy, the head biker, who talks about going over and visiting his wife. The very next scene, the Irishman and his friends with the guns go over there, and they basically beat Jimmy like a brownie girl in the street. I was so sad when I saw this. The problem is, is that this is not a reflection on Jimmy and his manhood at all. Okay? It's what the script and the director wanted, but I'm sure he's probably thinking, it's like, Jesus, I'm going to be in this movie, I've got lines, my friends are going to see it, I'm going to go down like a little bitch. Well, anyway, since they're not making movies much around here anymore, Jimmy followed the herds, the caribou herds, and now he's in New Orleans. Because apparently it's more fun to be spending Mardi Gras in New Orleans and auditioning for movies and TV shows and stuff. I'm dead serious. That's what he's doing now. He's down there. He's going to be famous. And after a while, he'll be like, oh, yeah, Detroit. Wow, what they got out of there. But anyway. But Jimmy cannot be here. He wanted to be here. But he's done the next best thing. Of course, when we're done with this, it will no longer be the next best thing. Jimmy has written new pieces for us to perform in his stead with the Jimmy, with the Jimmy stick. Speak. The Jimmy the Jimmy stick. stick. I think the Jimmy stick needs to go in the doom. Hold on. We're videotaping this. You got this? I got it. Got it. I'm sure he's gonna be like this. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, boobs of doom. Awesome. Right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Wait a minute, okay, one more. Good enough. I'm multi Yes, I am. Oh, I'm going to introduce you guys. So anyway, we have three pieces. We are supposed to have four, but Taylor didn't get his. So now, world premiere, three brand new Jimmy Doom pieces for your piece. Who wants to go first? Oh, I'm going to introduce you guys. All right, you guys, you know how it goes whenever I introduce Jimmy Doom. First, you gotta yell! Yeah! Oh, no, no, I think we need to chant Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. 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 They wanna hear Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, with the power invested in me by the governor of Rick Snyder in the state of Michigan, I bring to you the Jimmy Doom Experience! It's Jimmy Doom Mania, not Jimmy Doom, but an incredible simulation. Okay, who's up first? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll try and do this in the best Jimmy Doom style. I don't know. Ode to the crusty punk girls who kept my, an eye on my 40 ounces. You in the white lace dress. Thanks a bunch for making eye contact with the bearded guy in the Detroit Tiger sweatshirt. That was polite. <laughs> you two in the masks. That patchouli isn't masking the smell of your ferret. It's blending in with it. And you. Yeah, yeah. the fourth one of the crew. Oh, no microphone also. Being <laughs> <laughs> too honest, man. The fourth one in the crew. Rubbing your crotch on the frame of your boy's bike. You have a ridiculously hot body. Those years of Viking to where you panhandle have been good to you. You're so alley sheedy in the Breakfast Club fuckable that I don't want to get a tattoo of Judd Nelson. But let me give you a hint. I loved the zoo as a kid. I loved the lions. I loved the giraffes and the zebras and the polar bears. But I never once thought about fucking one. So if you want a guy who isn't cutting his heroin with your aunt's Oxycontin to fuck you, shave your fucking legs and your armpits. I loved sleeping with my fuzzy teddy bear when I was a kid, but I didn't fuck it or cook it breakfast while I lay in a puddle of my own jizz. If you guys like furry things to be mixed with their dicks, you're almost certainly Bermudan public trust... Bermuda... Tr 
a bullet pubic <laughs> triangle would have been placed on the inside of your vagina. Condoms would be made out of sheep wool instead of sheep skin. Don't give me that feminist shit because I saw you grinding away on that bike frame. You were aching for cock like your cunt was Robert Downey Jr.'s nose and the Schwinn was an eight ball. You letting your leg hair get that long is like someone pouring refried beans on filet mignon. Oh shit, did I just compare a woman to meat? Yes, I did. And I don't eat steak when it's got hair all over it either. So bear with me here, oh, I the <laughs> This was called something, but I forgot to write the title of it, so <laughs> sorry. It was something.com. Anyway, I can't, I can't do the do, do thing. Uh, that just sounds like I'm sick. <laughs> or I'm being fucked in the ass by something. Anyway, all right, so... A guy who looks like he's never gotten laid in his life has devised a system for people to find true love. True love can only be found in your own wrist, thumb, and forefinger or hairbrush attached to your own wrist. Because unless you decide that shooting heroin into your eye socket in a probation officer's office is a genius idea, you will never betray yourself. You will never ask for more when you don't want more. Never pretend that you're coming in a vain attempt to preserve your own feelings. You can eat at a shitty restaurant after a lousy movie and not have second thoughts about yanking your own dick or treating your clit like a fly that landed on your three beet salad. Who oh needs 4,200 item questionnaire to figure out who they're going to let toss them around in the Motel 6 like a rag doll? There are a few questions that need to be answered, if you must. Assume masturbation in favor of having an actual other human being present. You want harmony? Don't wear Spanx. Yes! Don't wear Spanx. Don't wear Spanx. It's the number one rule of Jimmy Dillon. Don't wear them! No! Then... Bust out the cellulite ravaged body and expect me to light sparkles on the headboard. I didn't duct tape a fire hydrant to my underpants and tell you it was a penis, did I? Fuck you, Jimmy Dills! <laughs> Dr. Neil Clark Warren, who are you? A candy bar? And a guy can't even read your fucking writing. Wow. She had to write it for me. <laughs> You hold Jimmy. I'll hold Jimmy. You hold my beer. I'm sorry, I have horrible penmanship. Up on the mic. She cannot read my handwriting. Dr. Neil Clark Warren, who are you? Your name is a verb, a candy bar, and a suburb full of middle class white people who hate their spouses. The guy from Biohazard is married to Tara Patrick, one of the hottest porn stars on the planet. His band sucks, but I joined his dating site. Sexual happiness is just not that complicated. I would check the boxes that say, get naked, let me penetrate one, and or, all, hopefully. Wait, can I interrupt? Okay. I should be like, let me penetrate you. Oh, let me penetrate. <laughs> let me penetrate you. All right, you made me lose my spot. <laughs> Sexual happiness is not just that complicated. I would check the boxes that say, get naked, let me penetrate one and or all of your hopefully three or that says, try to avoid blunt force trauma oh to my head and don't steal my fucking that. wallet when I pass out at rice. See, you can't even read your own fucking writing. Pass out after I... You Spot well your tonsils. You <laughs> I will check the boxes that say, sure, I'll lick your pussy like Pablo Datsuk's ice skates. I'll never leave my phone with the golden shower pictures anywhere near the Red Lobster you're a hostess at. 
And if I do, I'll call you back. I'll try to do it before your husband's parole hearing. <laughs> Because I'm retarded. Oh, uh, retarded. I, I, I gotta do the pose, man. I gotta take the mic off because I gotta do it like Jimmy does. Gotta do it like Jimmy does. Okay, so we got the face, we got the shot here, got the shot here. All right, here we go. Yeah, I gotta do this like Jimmy, including like the paper bit at the end. This one's called Vote for Me. I get inundated with requests to vote for girls on Facebook to be Waukegan or Saginaw's next top model. I don't mind. It's certainly more erotic than a request for Fishville or Hep Seaville or can't, you can bang me, but you better be able to hang drop from the third floor of my building in Hamtramck if my husband gets off early from teaching the CCW class without breaking your ankles, Bill. Some of the girls who request these votes are potential members of the Broken Glass Club. As in, I drag my dick across 10 miles of broken glass to hear her piss into a tin cup on the telephone. <laughs> Some of them are screaming hot and are easily the best looking waitress at a Buffalo Wild Wings in Muskegon. Some of them don't know better than they're not walk behind me when I'm trying to do a bit. <laughs> Some of them make me want to combine tetherball with ectopic pregnancies, which I realize makes no rational sense. But here's the deal. I'll vote for you and keep those requests coming even though I get zero out of it. <laughs> Think about it. By the time I scroll the page, watch the mandatory streaming video for ad for a bit hair product I will not fucking ever use, then agree to succumb to the terms of service, I could have used your esophagus as my own personal cock condominium and left it looking like a fresh out of the oven Cinnabon product. <laughs> Internet modeling contests are the modern day equivalent of putting a letter in a helium balloon so you can find a pen pal. And you know something? You sent me a message on Facebook. You already have a pen pal. Now get on over here and I'll cast my vote for your modeling career one thrust at a time. And that's for you, Jimmy, because you're down in New Orleans being a movie star and we're up here talking about you.